All right, folks, it's election season. Uh, This is what's happening with Americans across the country. They have friend groups. One of their people in their friend group brings up politics and what's going on in the world. And then they all start talking about it. And they all they all sound retarded that none of them know what they're talking about. They're all uneducated. It's annoying. and, And it drives you crazy. If you're an American, you know this experience. Well, this podcast today is no different than that. That's exactly what we're about to do. Uneducated people talking about politics and everything that's going on. Um, I say that we call this the working class state of the Goonian. Now, we've had an episode before we called state of the Goonian, and that was the the state of the podcast. I say we do a regular state of the Goonian address where we talk about the things going on in the world, and we bring on we bring on our, our Joe Byron over here. Joe and- Byron. <laughs> Joe Byron. Byron himself, and we talk about all the things going on. What do you say we call this? We we make this regular, the State of the Goonian. Okay. This yeah. is our State of the Goonian. All right. This is a special episode. We actually have not talked to Byron since before the debate. Whoa. I know. And Shiite. there's like eight things that have happened Damn. in the political sphere since the debate between Trump and Biden. <laughs> and we also haven't talked much about it on the podcast. We mostly have had stories about, you know, it's always a story about a pedophile. I don't know why. We yes. always have like four stories about pedophiles. <laughs> and then takes one to know one. <laughs> That's not, that's not true. It's not always about pedophiles. A lot of time it's about farts. Well, sometimes it's about farting pedophiles, pooping yeah. pedophiles. <laughs> Pedophiles having weird sex with, you know, children. And so anyway, this episode is not about pedophile, although it is about politics. So it actually is is about. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? You saying Byron ain't a pedo? I'm saying what? Byron ain't a pedo? No, I'm not saying Byron isn't a pedo. No, no, that's not (laughs) what I said. I would never say that. That's not what I said, dude. No, that's not what I said. So you saying Biden ain't a pedo. And I was supposed to pick that up when you were mumbling those words together. (laughs) Yeah, I'm gonna okay. go. Uh, let's just be clear, folks. I am not saying that Byron is not a pedo. Oh my god, <laughs> his words not my, not my words, <laughs> not my words. <laughs> Definitely his words. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Working Crest State of the Union, folks. We have Lauren here. Hello. I'm Joshua, and this is Byron. Sup, dog? I only have one rule today when we're i i've written down all all the things that have happened since then but we are not allowed to pull up any articles to pull up any videos to fact check anything that we're saying if any of the listeners are joining into working crass Mm -hmm. podcast for facts about the news they are stupider than an actual retarded person like there are actual people with down syndrome that go i wouldn't tune into working crass for the news (laughs) like they, they know not to do that am i wrong no, you're not wrong. <laughs> so listen, they should just believe us at face value. Take us at That's face value. That's what you're saying. That's what we're trying to do here. We're we're talking about what's going on in the world. We're not going to use any kind of articles or facts. If we need a fact, we'll ask Lauren. Lauren has the memory of an autistic person. <laughs> and, uh, well, I might not exactly know everything. It doesn't matter. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't. No one's listening to this for accuracy. They're listening to it for funny. Okay. And it's, well, you know and, who hey, wasn't we're accurate. We're not going to be either. You know who wasn't accurate. Who wasn't accurate? Crooks. Who? Who? <laughs> the shooter guy. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. I thought you just meant in, in, you, ge- in general. Like all I heard was crooks. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know when you <laughs> shout like that. I I heard crooks, but I thought you were just talking about in general i thought you were talking about crooks like people yeah. who are crooks <laughs> yeah they ain't accurate either we're, we're going out of order okay we got to start okay yeah yeah we have all to right. start all right with the presidential debate now did you watch the debate hell yeah man did you watch the whole debate hell yeah man yeah, us too we sat down and watched it was really romantic actually i got a few jerks off man <laughs> yeah yeah it was long it was a long debate was there a specific <laughs> it was long was there a specific uh, point in it where you were like this is a good jerk when that chick this opened is a good her mouth. Jerk moment. What chick? Yeah, what? The lady at the. Uh, the one asking questions. Yeah. The moderator. Yeah. Yeah. The CNN lady. <laughs> yeah. She got your heart. Got- I got over the CNN <laughs> aspect of it pretty fast, actually. Uh. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I uh, before the debate, all of the right wing news outlets that I was aware of were all talking about how you know Biden is senile and old. too old and yeah and people and we were i mean we have an episode called beyond cogent that was yeah. all about 
uh, Joe Scarborough saying that Joe Biden is beyond cogent. He can speak. There's nothing wrong with him. He's not declining. He's better than ever. He even said uh, on He's MSNBC, shot. he said, fuck you. <laughs> he said, F you if you don't agree with me. Joe Biden is as cogent as ever. He's sharp. He's focused. He's a lean, mean machine. And yeah. crazy for a news guy to say, fuck you if you don't agree with <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, what the fuck? Dude, I, I immediately thought of that episode when yeah. when this all happened. I was like, yeah. they need to go back and like revisit that episode. Well, you know, after that... Episode 82. <laughs> yeah, I think it is yeah, 82. Yeah. I mean, you might be right. Damn, dude! <laughs> and fuck you if you don't agree. <laughs> but we ain't checking facts here. We ain't checking facts. So it's episode 82. You take my word for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think first rule of journalism is to say screw you to your audience. Screw you if you don't agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Twin Towers have been hit by a plane, and fuck you if you don't think <laughs> so. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it, but, okay, so after the debate, Joe Scarborough goes, um, uh, you know what, thank God we're, you know, we're so far from uh, November, it gives us time to replace him because he's not exactly all there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my okay, God. fuck you now. Yeah, dude. Fuck you, yourself. Exactly. No, no. Still. Mika fuck ain't you. fucking him. That's for sure, dude. Yeah. I, Mika, Mika ain't fucking him. <laughs> Mika ain't never fucked him. Yep. Um. It was that was it just blew my mind. I immediately when I saw him walk to yeah. the podium, I was like, oh fuck. Yeah. Well, they started the debate. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Save it up for four years. <laughs> they started the debate with all of this intense fucking uh, uh, action movie music. The rules tonight are: you only get one minute to speak, and if you uh, if your minute is up, your microphone will be cut. And blah blah. And like they go mm -hmm. uh, each rule, and they're like, and now let's start the debate. Do, 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 do. And then it's just silent. And Joe Biden just walking slowly to the fucking podium. Is that a dandelion? <laughs> <laughs> and he gets up there and he's like, well, some focus like it contrasts so much with like the the epic introduction, and then him just stumbling over his words. Listen, folks, we gotta we live in America. It's it's the country that we live in. I'm a Biden. I'm a Biden. Are you riding me? <laughs> <laughs> just in, straight up insanity. Do you remember anything specific about the debate? Anything that uh, happened that was interesting? You're a sucker. You're, you're a, a sucker. Loser. You're a loser. You're the sucker. You're the loser. Oh, I al I also loved like when they were like talking about their golf their, their golf. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Yeah. I mean, what a time! That's the we biggest live in. lie you've ever told. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do impressions like, at fucker. all. Yeah, that's, that's like the Trump biggest impression. motherfucking lie you ever told, bitch. Damn, bitch. <laughs> that ain't, if that ain't the biggest lie I ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Trump. I'm Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Trump, motherfucker. This be Trump, motherfucker. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I that was crazy that they started talking about their golf game in the middle, but actually not that yeah, crazy. I think Biden brought it up. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. totally. Which I mean, that's so strange. And of course, <laughs> Trump isn't gonna like back down from that shit. <laughs> like. You have an awful swing. I've seen your swing. Yeah, yeah. Well, and with when Biden said he's like, I got six handicap. Yeah. Yeah, you got six handicaps. Yeah, that's what he should have said. Yeah. That <laughs> would have been five of them are in his brain. Yeah. Well, and when <laughs> Biden was like, um, blah, 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 the war in Iraq, blah, 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 minimum, minimum, minimum wage, blah, 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 blah. We beat Medicare. <laughs> and then Trump's like, that's right, you beat Medicare. You beat it to death, motherfucker. <laughs> that was a, an epic Trump moment for sure. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think the best moment from him is just literally turning and going, I don't know what he said. <laughs> he doesn't know what he said. Yeah. What are we doing here? I don't even think he knows what he said. <laughs> I think, I mean, I really think, like, Trump did a really good job, though, and, like, I mean, I'm biased as fuck at yeah. this point, especially, but, like, uh, like, I, I like that Trump wasn't so, like, 
antagonistic throughout it. Yeah, yeah. Like, as much as he usually is yeah, in those debates. Because honestly, like I think everyone actually kind of felt bad for Joe Biden. I did. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Like, why is this guy? Wh- why? Yeah. Like, they, let him live out his life in peace. I mean, I think he's an evil piece of shit. Yeah. Um, sniffer, kid sniffer. Yeah. Daughter shower. Yeah. But like joiner. <laughs> Like fuck, he's man. an old man who's lost his mind, and they're yeah. putting him out there in this situation. It's not yeah. on national TV in front of millions of people to embarrass himself. Yeah, and I mean the the polls after showed that uh, the majority of people thought that Trump came out stronger in that debate. Oh yeah, even people who absolutely hate Trump, and you know, mm-hmm. and also thirty. It was something like thirty-seven percent of people thought Biden came out stronger in that debate. I know, That's dude. All oh, that is insane. <laughs> That's how do you watch that? It, it's him going insanity. mumbling. Thirty-seven people. It's just thirty-seven people that really like they just hate Trump, and that's yeah. all it is. It's not that they think that Biden actually did better. They yeah. just hate Trump. Yeah. But I mean, that's hilarious. I actually think that uh, Biden did a little better there. I think well, when you know, I think we should have someone very uncoaching in office. <laughs> essentially, it's wild. And then after that, there was. All of this just fucking backtracking of because, you know, they were saying that it was, um, you know, it's they were calling it something too that you can't you can't make fun of his age and, and he's Cheat not fakes. Yeah, that that yeah. what 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 was that all about? Or what? Um, I, they were trying to play off of like the deep fakes thing. Yeah. So like it's taking things out of context to make him look bad. Yeah. Is but, essentially what the cheap fakes are but the debate showed him in full context yeah and he looked bad or even worse <laughs> even worse i mean yeah. you can get away with like the, him tripping upstairs and say hell i trip upstairs sometimes right yeah, exactly the, the problem is but i'm a retard and i'm not running for prezi <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's just the problem is there's no context in which he looks good so. yeah yeah <laughs> definitely yeah. So then there's all this backtracking of like, well, you know, um, maybe we need to find someone else. And uh, actually, he is uh, mentally declining. And um, it, but it, but insane. no, they no lied. acknowledgement they, of like, hey, you know, uh, this other group of people have been saying that he's unfit to be president and too old for months, if not years. And we, uh, you know, for demon- years. No, from the get go, people oh, for sure. like we're saying. He's got dementia. Yeah. He like definitely has dementia. Yep. And it's only gotten worse. Like he he looked a lot better. Yeah. In 2020. Yep. And even then people were like, he's he got dementia. dementia. Like he is nowhere near as like there as Trump. Yep. And um, you know, I w- the only thing I will say is that like Jill Biden probably has him on some like really healthy food and yeah. then Trump's eating McDonald's. And now I'm like, Yeah, I'm going on a Mickey D's diet. <laughs> McRib, Jill, Jill Biden, Please. after the uh, debate, when she goes to him and she goes, you answered all the questions, oh Joe. You did so good. Here's a lollipop. And he's like, <laughs> dandelion? <laughs> Where? You poo-pooed in the potty all by yourself. Yeah. Joe, good God. job, Joe. And not just in private. That was in front of an yeah. audience of yeah. people on television. And they were going crazy. <laughs> and the thing, she said, you answered all the questions. And I watched that debate. He didn't answer all no. the questions. Some of those questions And also, like, answer. it's a debate. You're, like, supposed to answer questions. <laughs> like, that's, that's the, the bare, bare, yeah, yeah, bare minimum. minimum. Yeah. Answer questions. I think she was uh, congratulating him for having, like, stayed awake till the last question. That's right. Yeah. That's correct. I think that's... Yeah more what she was meaning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You took a poo-poo in the potty, Joe. Good, good for you. boy. What a good boy. <laughs> you survived today, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Complete insanity. So that was crazy. The debate was... The debate was crazy. The debate was insane. It's and been that, a crazy month, man. It really has. I can't believe so much <laughs> And guess what? This month happened. ain't over yet, because guess who gets a year older and a year wiser? <laughs> that boy right over there. This dumb boy right here. <laughs> happy <laughs> early birthday, yeah. Byron. And yeah, everyone say happy birthday in the comments. Happy birthday. <laughs> There's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no one ever comments that. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, so... No one ever comments anything nice about me. <laughs> That's not true. 
Who has said something nice? Don of Comics has, on multiple occasions, said, Byron's got to be on more often. I like Byron. Always a good episode when Byron joins. He hates me, and I know it. No, no. He likes you. And you know that, and you've read those comments, and you just purposefully (laughs) told us, why does no one ever say anything nice to me? (laughs) So that I would repeat the nice things people have said. (laughs) Actually, you're right. Sometimes they do say nice things. What do they say again? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Okay, so everyone flips and they go, okay, now he can't run. We need to get They're him. They're liars. I know. I'm sorry. It's like I don't want to get past that because it's so crazy that like ev- like literally you have Joe Scarborough saying he's beyond cogent just a <laughs> couple weeks before this. Well, he yeah. was. Yeah. And everyone was saying, everyone on the left was saying he's fine. He's like actually more. They were like making the case that Trump is mentally unfit. Right. And right, now right. they're going to make that case even more. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, well, no, they're already now. They are, Going, yeah. going. Uh, Trump is all too old to be too old to be president. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, no, and no, absolutely no yeah. acknowledgement of the fact that there was a bunch of people saying this before, and that they were being demonized for saying it. it's the same thing as is COVID and the pandemic. It's like everything that uh, was a what was a criticism of the COVID regime for a long time is was proven to be correct, and they'll admit that it's correct, but they'll never go back and say we're sorry for demonizing those people who were yeah. correct. Yeah. yeah. And we're sorry for shutting down people that were correct. Yeah. It's always going to be the case. Mm-hmm. They'll say like, well, we just didn't have the information then that we do now. Yeah. Which is bullshit. Well, and that, I will say like, like that's my, that's the white pill from all this is that like this entire, and honestly, I, I think things are going to get worse before they get better. Like my prediction for 2024 is like, I think, I don't necessarily We're think Harris is going to win. I don't. I. I don't think she's going to be president. That's all I'll say. I'm not going to say she won the election, but I think she's going to be president. Mm. And like, mm. um, but like, my hope is that like people don't like come back from this. Like, yeah. you kind of wake up from like the media's lies, yep. and then you don't go back and all of a sudden be like. Okay, well, they were they were kind of fibbing on Biden there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I think she yeah. didn't right there. <laughs> yeah. you know? Nah, nah. I think I think Biden really was sharp as a tack up yeah. until the point of that debate. It was just the stress of having to <laughs> to, to debate, debate a tyrant, a tyrant <laughs> like Trump. It broke his brain. Yeah. But up until that point, he was. I mean, he he made Albert Einstein look like a chump. That's what I think. Well, okay. So after the and debate, and I've always said that, and I'll always stand by it. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Before the debate, Joe Biden was the smartest man. On earth. <laughs> he was mega mind. He could do no wrong, dude. After and, and that actually includes the crime bill. I believe he can do no <laughs> wrong. I you I know, agree with every choice Joe Biden ever made, <laughs> <laughs> including showering with his niece. <laughs> was it or his daughter? Niece or his yeah, I think it was his daughter. Think his daughter. His daughter. <laughs> Don't fact check me. What's worse, Just showering with your daughter show, or your man. niece? <laughs> What's worse, daughter, daughter or niece? Daughter, but niece is pretty bad too. Niece is pretty fucking bad because then you got to deal with the fact that your sibling is like, you fucking showered with my daughter. What are you doing? Your own daughter, you can say, oh, I'm a, I'm their parent. You know, we just showered. Yeah, we just shower. Yeah, this is I, shower. sh- I showered with my dad growing up. We're well, nudists. Uh, what's the cutoff age for showering with your parent? Well, for me, it was like 22, 23. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, when, it's, when it's hard you, to clean that butthole. It, it's when you have to. Ask, I mean, mommy. It's when you have to ask with a really deep voice to switch. And so you switch, to, please. So you I'm get getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough water on me. If you switch. have, let's just say, if you have pubes, you shouldn't be showering with your parents. Definitely. I think it comes before that. I think, I think it's way yeah, before yeah, that, oh, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. But. I think once you can dress yourself yeah. and bathe yourself, you can't bathe with a parent. If mm-hmm. you can get in the shower and take a shower without drowning on your own, <laughs> then you're, you're fine. You don't need to be yeah. in there yeah. with a parent. Yeah. yeah. But I like being in there with, the, with my daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, come on, man. It's my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So 
everyone starts freaking out, right? They go, we got to replace... Uh, oh, the, we, the DNZ was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, they are like, we got to replace this guy. Obviously, he's unfit. And everyone just watched it. Yeah. They knew he was unfit, but... Yeah. Because, okay, here's the other thing. Is like... Well, before that, he said he just had a bad night. That's what they chalked it up to. He just had yeah. a bad night. They did. Immediately like, after, that's what they said. And that, yeah. was, but, that was the line that well, everybody was going with. He had a bad night. Uh, but CNN that night was already that night of the debate after the debate they were talking about we might need to replace him they I they brought it up it. when they then interviewed biden a couple days later then he was like i had a bad night come on yeah, man but i go by what the view said and the, oh, view, the view said okay sorry sorry he had You're a right. bad night well and i don't i i think that um facts should be checked by majority rule here so lauren and i are saying that that's not true <laughs> <laughs> so okay, we're okay. gonna go and That's say fine. that you're you're incorrect. We can't check anything right now. <laughs> so we're oh I'll say you're just avoiding it, fixing <laughs> the camera, fixing yeah, I, the camera. I just wanted you to have a little more camera space, okay? Oh yeah, I need the space, <laughs> dude. Lauren, Lauren, scoot over closer to me a little bit. Yeah, don't okay. don't act like you hate your so, husband. <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, so then they all start saying, "Hey, maybe we need to replace him." And uh, Joe Biden says, "I want his Adderall." But I'm sorry to interrupt. No, I'm you're really right. sorry, but like, I want his Adderall. Yeah, because like I've seen him do State of the Unions, and he's like still like way off. But like, dude, it's, after seeing that debate, I think they sabotaged him. That's what frank. I think too. And like. They if didn't they give had him his Adderall. They, could, they gave him sugar. Yeah. If they have something that they could, like sugar, but. if they have something they could give him to make him do like a good State of the Union, why didn't they give them him that for the debate? Or did they? And he it just went poorly. A lot of people think that they didn't give it to him mm -hmm. to sabotage it because they were going to mm -hmm. take him out anyway. I but, think he had to have something just so he could stay awake the entire time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you, he needs something. Just a little bump. Yeah. Poppers. Some of that Biden juice. Mm -hmm. um, Can you get my daughter's hair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That wakes me up. Yeah, it wakes me right up. It's if like, you know what I mean. It's like smelling salts. Yeah. He just. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> anyway, what was that talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> the country. I think if you're a person with a rational mind and you watch that uh, debate, then you start to wonder, okay, well, if this is how badly uh, his mental health is, like how badly he's declined in and his mental be, capacity. And he can be president. And, and he could, could be, I be president? But no, if, if this is how badly he's declined mentally and he is president, who is running the country? Like, yeah. it's not him. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. We all know that there's somebody who's helping him get out on stage. There's somebody writing the things that he's reading. Wh whoever that is is who's running the country. It's not Joe yeah. Biden. Yeah. Joe Biden's not running the country or making decisions. It's pretty clear at this point that he is a figurehead, a puppet. Absolutely. Totally. You know, if you're at this point in American history, you don't believe in like the shadow government or the deep state. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> like yeah. it's right there in front of your face. You think that that guy is making all of the decisions? No. There's somebody doing that for him, for sure. And I think if if you weren't already awoken to that, that should have fucking woke you up. Yeah. Right. There. I mean, if Joe Biden was running the country. We'd all know that he'd be mandating tapioca pudding <laughs> for lunch. Everyone's going to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Everyone and, has to eat it. And, it's my favorite food. <laughs> and he's going to mandate temperature controls to be a little bit more cold. Uh, listen, <laughs> this is my first rule. All grandsons must help their grandpas use the phone. It's difficult. <laughs> yeah. Or <laughs> he's like... Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> mandating kids call their grandparents <laughs> twice a year <laughs> executive order no more passwords on email i can't remember it <laughs> two factor authorization what the fuck what I was that? Know, this is, what like it Russian Russian or a korean guy yeah. <laughs> two, factor uh, two factor authentication <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I told. I said already. I can't do impression. I can't do an impression of Biden either. That's why I'm now doing a uh, hello. <laughs> you're doing, but you've got good you're, voices. You're doing I don't like e Abe Simpson. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I don't even have good. Vo- I don't have good voices. <laughs> uh, my voices are all annoying. Like Homer <laughs> is an annoying voice. Yeah, you just. But have, it's funny. You you have. I your, think it's funny at least. You have a talking voice and you just have a shouting voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah, uh, there's, yeah, he's he's not making any decisions. He's not because make- he, he can't yeah. even decide which way is the exit of the stage. <laughs> yeah, yes. Have you seen that video of the? Uh, there's like a woman speaking. I don't know who's speaking, and he's behind her, like standing there, and an ice cream truck just comes behind, and he, <laughs> he looks behind off. and just starts walking, <laughs> <laughs> following the ice cream truck. Clown world. Oh man. Clown world. So, uh, so people start discussing that maybe he should step down. Even you know the uh, Democrat leaders are saying like he needs to step down, and he says from the election though. Yeah, 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 yeah. For not, sure. not, not necessarily from the presidency. not from presidency from the election. Which, which to me, I'm like, okay, so he's not running for re-election because yeah. of his dementia. He's not bad enough to need to leave now. Yeah. He's bad enough to need to leave in a couple months. He'll, yeah. be, he'll be pretty yeah. bad in a few months from now. Yeah. He he's not bad enough to leave to leave, but he's not bad en- but he's not good enough to come back. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, not yeah. bad enough to leave, but he's good enough to lead. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um so um and he tells people, "No. I'm not going to resign. I'm not I'm not leaving the race." He said it a lot of times. Yeah. Oh, what? Folks, ton. I'm not going to do it. I'm yeah. not leaving. Yeah. I ain't leaving. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, now I sound like Bill Clinton. <laughs> well, My chickens ain't leaving. Well, well, they asked him the question while he was in line for the ice cream truck, and he thought that's what they were talking I'm about. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my chocolate cone. I'm getting my rocky road. So he says he's not uh, fucking going anywhere. He will not step down. So then Trump is uh, at a rally. Most badass thing in the fucking universe. Probably the God coolest thing that's it. happened in our lifetime. I'll be, I'll be honest. It fucking, of course. It's dude. too cool. It's not. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like not fair. Dude. It's unfair completely how cool like, it what was. What the fuck, dude? God, you can't just give me a moment where I'm like diving on a fire. <laughs> what? You want to dive on a fire? And save some dog or something? You, you wanna- <laughs> You want a moment set up by God for you to be a hero like Trump was? Yeah. (laughs) What the frick? (laughs) So we're talking about the assassination attempt of Trump. So where was this rally? It's a scam, dude. That wasn't real. That's a hoax, dude. They didn't. They all made it up. Okay. <laughs> Trump smeared ketchup on his face. <laughs> yeah, it was in the back of a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> the, Wendy's? Rally <laughs> <laughs> the rally was the rally frosty. <laughs> Somebody had a frosty. The ra- the <laughs> what do you mean the frosty machine don't work no more? <laughs> the rally was in the back of a Wendy's, and the the Wendy's the roof was too sloped, and that's why they couldn't have anybody up there. <laughs> <laughs> and there was also nobody man in the drive-through. Uh, where where was this rally? Butler, Butler, Pennsylvania. Butler, Pennsylvania. And um, uh, I'm so surprised Whoopi Goldberg wasn't there. Place named Butler. Yeah, no, she <laughs> loves butts. Did you see the photo of like the like the stream of air of the bullet the going bullet? behind? Yeah, yeah, it's fucking crazy, crazy, dude. insane. Yeah. And the the photographer who took the final photo of him raising his fist, the the uh, flag in the background, the blood on his face, had to have like looked at his camera afterwards and go, "I'm gonna make." billions of fucking dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just took a picture that will be in every history book forever. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable picture. That's the yeah. craziest yep. picture I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. I mean it, it like and he's in he's probably a liberal. And so he's like fuck <laughs> the the photographer. <laughs> yeah. The photographer. He's just like delete, delete, delete. Yeah, he's like, I can't <laughs> let this get out. <laughs> This looks too good. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fucking crazy. That is insane. So, okay. Do we... I, here's what. Here's my thought. Two shooters, dude. I'm going out there I, and saying it right away. Two I've heard, shooters. I've heard that there was there there could have been two shooters. I've, I've analyzed some, the audio. <laughs> See, <laughs> here's where we could pull up some articles and, and fact check. I don't think so. We're not doing that. We're just saying what we've heard and think. Here's what I think. I think just a lone wolf situation. 
I think the kid just happened to, you know, go and try to shoot the president, and there's nothing fishy about it, and there's no CIA involvement at all. And yeah, sure, his phone was encrypted, but what 16-year-old's phone isn't encrypted? Yeah, sure, he these had days. He, yeah, He wasn't sure. 16, was he? He's, no, uh, he's 20. Like 20. You no, ever no. try watch porn in Texas? <laughs> <laughs> you know you can't do that now. I'm kind of ashamed to admit that. Yeah, you almost. cannot do that in Texas. Yeah. There's no porn hub in Texas. Honestly, I'm kind of for that, even though I, I am like big on free speech. My kind of uh, porn's terrible. I disagree. I'm not like for. I'm porn not like for everywhere. It, but I just like we. I think we need well, to do something about is it, is it. I think there's not enough porn. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> you're like I want to make porn right now. <laughs> Working crass, more like work that ass. <laughs> That's what I want my show to be. <laughs> What were you saying? I lost my train of thought. Never mind. <laughs> she was thinking about porn. <laughs> no, I... Okay. <laughs> Do you watch dude on dude porn, Lauren? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't watch yeah, girl on no. girl. More cause... for me. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, okay. So this 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 shooter. You were we were talking about. He he's twenty. Here's the thing, um, I, you know, I believe it because, you know, he just had no social media at all, it, no social media presence ever before, even though he was so politically motivated, he went to go try no to shoot way. a president, he also wasn't involved in social media, sure. Yeah, everyone I know that's, like, not on social media are, like, so fucking tuned out from politics, exactly. and, like, I'm jealous of them, to be yeah. honest, I'm like... Like they not tuned out in like a stupid way. They're yeah. like in a purposeful way. Yes, They're like exactly. I'm so sick of this bullshit. I'm not gonna like. I don't even want to talk about it. Like whatever. The only person who's gonna be so radicalized that they are single handedly gonna go try to shoot the president. They're on social media. They're, like, on they're Reddit. using social media. They're on Reddit. They're, oh, he looked like a redditor. If there's ever oh, been a fucking redditor, dude, he's a mod. I know. He looks like so much like he probably every mods redditor. incels or incels. He's probably mod incels. for incels. <laughs> And Brony. No, I saw an article today. Now, I, ca I can't confirm if it was true or not, but there was an article that came out today that he had um, this social media I had never heard of, but it was um, he was using it to support Biden and and uh, um, hmm. and uh, what is it? Donate a bunch of money through the app for Biden's campaign as well. So Candy Crush. Yeah, it was Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Biden loves Candy Crush. <laughs> Gotta get those candies. <laughs> um, Why do I have to pay more money to get more gold? <laughs> what? Guess I need to raise taxes. <laughs> so I can buy more gold on Candy Crush. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I mean, he kind of looked a little trans, too. There's a picture. There's a, I sent Lauren a picture of it. There's a picture of him with woman hair. Um, because okay, all of the photos they're showing of him are him in high school when Dude, he was like sixteen is, or something. There's a picture of him closer to the current day of him, and he's dressed as a woman. Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah, dude, there. It's totally fucking. He's been wiped off the internet. Absolutely for sure. And like the. I'm sorry, but. You don't have any pictures in the last four years? None? Okay, but here's the other thing. is That's the fact I that all of 16. those... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all of those people that were there um, pointing out, hey, there's someone on the roof and telling police officers and telling Secret Service people and they didn't respond and there's all these videos of the Secret Service looking at the guy and not doing anything about it until the first couple shots are fired anyway. It's ridiculous. Unbelievable. It's, it's, it's absolutely... I mean, come on. You, If you have two eyes, you can't believe that this is just like a random dude that got up on the roof and and then it's just oh i guess we'll just chalk it up to incompetence that we let him take a shot at the president he literally was seen with a rangefinder yeah like why are you gonna have that maybe he just wants to get a better view of the president yeah. Yeah. maybe he just brought his rifle so he could get a good seat yeah <laughs> get a good view <laughs> yeah I, I want to get. I don't have monoculars. Yeah, I only have my rifle. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong here. I'll just get up on a roof and point it at the president, and then you know no one's going to shoot at me. And he was right; no one did shoot at him for a while. Yeah, and by the way, that roof—if they call that a slope—I ain't a skateboarder. 
<laughs> it, it, they call us <laughs> so dumb, dude. That was so fucking stupid. Well, they Wait, do, what did they I even do say? Call it a, <laughs> they do call it a slope, <laughs> so I guess you're not a skateboarder. <laughs> Oh, I'm really not a skateboarder. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. not trying to be a poser. I've tried. I'm terrible at it. I always get hurt. <laughs> but, dude, that is not a slope. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. No, it's too dangerous. Well, it's the, too dangerous. The roof that they shot him from was sloped. Yeah, I know. I've seen <laughs> that roof. <laughs> what? Not... It, it, uh, the slope was... It was... It... it <laughs> are you being are you being sarcastic or are you being honest here? I don't know. Sarcastic. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought you were I thought you were fact checking me. I just wasn't sure. Oh, I was pretending to be somebody <laughs> fact checking, but there's no possible way that could. The logic just does not hold. Which it, it, it's just a, a, the slope is less of a degree. Uh, it's less <laughs> Less of an incline than the other guy. Yeah, no, it's it's ridiculous. And the fact that they had a water tower there that nobody was watching over it's it, it's it well, makes no, absolutely no sense. There's video, there's video of, of the water tower and it looks like there's a little little teeny speck of a person. I haven't there. seen that video, so I can't com- I can't confirm. It, it yeah. looks it looks weird. There it looks like there's something up there. Yeah. It could be a person. It, it could also not be a could person. Could just be a raccoon. If there's yeah. one thing we can all agree. We all know raccoons love water towers like <laughs> like kids love jelly beans. That is true. <laughs> like kids love jelly beans. That's good. Um so if there's one thing we can all agree on, left and right, about this shooting, is that we will never find out what really happened <laughs> yeah. that day. Yeah, you can true. guarantee we will never actually find mm. out what happened that day. The, the guy was in a BlackRock uh, yeah, commercial. Yeah, that's insane. That I mean, that makes crazy. me that that like sets off my MK Ultra alarm mm-hmm. for right sure. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. absolutely. My, my theory, because if you looked at his high school stuff, he looks like. You know, a kind of dorky incel yeah. guy that likely was doing some probably crazy things gay on the internet. Stuff? Oh. Maybe gay, Just but I don't know. <laughs> but I, I doing crazy stuff on the internet, I think probably had CP. You know? Mm. Okay. Oh. Her, her yeah. thought is yeah, that he had saying. CP and then they used, you know, they used him. Black tailed him a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Probably. Like, yeah, he definitely looks like a. Uh, yeah. Okay, but here's the other thing: the fact that he has like no social media and like everything is just kind of in there. If if this was they the, found his Steam account. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm keep going. Keep going. We well, can talk about Steam if after. if this is if this is like a CIA plant or whatever. What was the plan for? He does shoot Trump successfully. Like how were they gonna how were they gonna put all of this off on him then still if there's no evidence or anything you know what I'm saying like he mm. fa- he failed or he succeeds there's still it's still really fucking sketchy that there's no information on this kid you would think that the story would like like it would be it would fit everything perfectly because they've planned this out and they thought that once he got shot they're gonna have to blame that kid anyway right yeah I mean okay so I think. Part of the thing is is that I actually I don't want to underestimate the deep state, mm-hmm. but I do think it is um I don't want to say they're like super incompetent because I th- actually think they're pretty competent in what they do, but at the same time they're not fucking flawless. Right. You can't right. pull anything like this off. Right. Like without like making some like look at the like Las Vegas. Yeah. We still yeah, don't yeah. know anything about that. And in yeah. fact, like there and there's a ton of shady shit about the Vegas shooting. Mm-hmm. And it was just memory hold. Mm-hmm. You know? Or the fires in Hawaii. Yeah. Mm. Lasers. Mm. Or the Denver airport. Is that one of them? There is uh some interesting stuff about the Denver airport. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff we're never gonna know everything about yeah. pretty much yeah, everything. Nine eleven, building seven. Nine eleven, building seven, moon landing. But, by the way, I found out over July Fourth when yeah. I was home. Yeah. Um, I come from a long line of conspiracy theorists. Really? Um, my grandmother, um, on my mom's side, did not believe we landed on the moon. Wow. And was adamant about it, and she lived through it. Wow. And so, like saw the video, and like my mom told me she's like, "Now you're me, mama." <laughs> <laughs> 
to the day she died, <laughs> was adamant we did not live on we did we did not live on the we moon. We did not live on the moon. <laughs> All right. No, but she was like, "You're me, Mama." She she truly believed we did not land on the moon. Wow. And I was, and then, and it's funny. We were all in the hot tub, yeah. and uh, I said, "I was like." Well, you know, there's some interesting facts about that. And then, like, my whole family was like, Byron, no. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not saying I believe him, but, like, there's some shady stuff. Wow. And Operation they- Paperclip, look it up. And it ain't about, and it ain't, and it, and it ain't about Clippy. Maybe your maybe your your grandma. That's a fucking deep maybe, cut, m- isn't it? Maybe your me mama had the had the files. She found maybe. out about it. Yeah, maybe. I just can't believe the rest of your family just fucking spit on your grandma's grave <laughs> like that. That's fucking awful. Yeah. yeah you said you said grandma was right. We didn't land on the moon, and then they all go. Bleh, 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 bleh. I can't believe the that woman's dead. I I can't believe that <laughs> you, you show <laughs> some fucking <laughs> respect. I I can't believe that you think it would be surprising that. Uh, you come from a long line of conspiracy theorists. <laughs> <laughs> that would make me proud. Yeah, I, feel well, no, proud. I am proud of it, yeah. dude. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like I ain't, I ain't sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't sitting here denouncing it or anything. I'm proud of it. <laughs> like I know the CIA listening to everything us fucking say. All right, <laughs> they listen to my conversations with my dad. <laughs> yeah. They watch me jerk, probably. <laughs> they definitely do that. I hate that they do that. They I, got, I, they, I talk to them while I'll do it. Here, I'm going to do, <laughs> real quick, I'll, I'm going to do an impression of a CIA agent listening to Byron's phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Can't listen to that shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just through the earphones, you hear. <laughs> this kid has bipolar. He's two people. He's Homer and he's Byron. <laughs> the CIA. Man, this is too loud. Yeah. Turn him down. <laughs> exactly. CIA just, just I can't fucking take anymore. <laughs> they take the earphones off, and you can like actually hear me. <laughs> hear every word. <laughs> yeah, it's like that one clip in Seinfeld or Friends, wherever like. <laughs> Or, yeah, it's in Friends, and he's like, something about the sandwich, and you hear it from space. I don't know. Whatever. Dude, let's move on. Let's move <laughs> okay, on. Okay. So then, okay, so histor- that's a historic event, right? That's going to live on forever. The, the, you know, the during a presidential election season, one of the candidates for the president was shot at. And then another historical event is a couple days after that. Um, so, it, so is it really if if two if historical events happen like a day apart from each other, uh, d- does does the the first one that happened really have uh, staying power? Well, I was trying to lead to something that wasn't actually historical as a joke, but. <laughs> You really just killed it, huh? <laughs> well, then, is it really that historical if it's only a couple days after? I, well, if the flag of Mozambique <laughs> isn't really blue and yellow, then what is it even me? I'm sorry. I was trying to do a live fact check. Yeah, I know. I did. I get it. Look, the assassination attempt at President Trump was a historical moment. And a couple right. days later, another huge historical moment occurred. Shane Gillis was on Kill Tony. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he was played Trump, and that episode has gotten uh, what twelve million views now, the most that any episode of Kill Tony has ever gotten ever. Yeah. Didn't uh, didn't uh, the guy that does Doctor Phil play Adam Biden? Ray played Biden as well? Hilarious! I just wanted to bring. I that haven't seen it. I bet it's funny though. Oh my god! They and it's the most popular episode they've ever. I mean, twelve million views. That's fucking <laughs> crazy. Most po- uh, So I'll I'll consider that a historical event for me because I like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. That was like SNL has to be shitting their pants watching Shane Gillis uh, that- do Trump like that. Because SNL sucks. Yeah. Now, of that, course. That was Josh's uh, storming the beaches. Exactly. That was Josh's D Day. That was, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. If you think Trump putting his fist in the air going fight, fight with blood on his face was powerful, as soon as they go, Trump and Shane Gillis walked out, I went, my life has changed for the better. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I mean, I mean, look at SNL now. Every sketch in SNL always starts with like, hey, guys, I'm having a real gay day today, huh? Mm -hmm. I've just been sitting around watching Sex in the City with my butt plug in. And the audience goes, <laughs> And they go, who's that? Oh my gosh, is that RuPaul? Yes, it's me. I'm RuPaul, bitches. And the crowd goes, yay. I just wanted to show up on this episode of SNL to tell you you're doing a great job, honey. Because <laughs> I am gay, and you are gay, and he is gay. L live from New York, it's Saturday night. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> Don't you point at me and say that. <laughs> Bah, bah, ba -da -da -da. It's Saturday Night Live with musical guest Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I'm so glad you said that. I did not have a name ready. <laughs> I was probably going to say like Frank, <laughs> and then that would fall really featuring flat. Faggot One, <laughs> Faggot Two, and Keenan Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> How often at SNL do you think Keenan Thompson has to fight off uh, people trying to put their dicks in his butt? <laughs> Motherfucker, get away from me. He got a juicy butt, <laughs> probably. He's kind of bigger. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I got I got sidetracked on what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> now we're on SNL. Okay. So um um uh okay, so did Hawk Tua happen during this time frame? I bet it did. It's Hawk, not Hawk. It's H A W K, not H W A K. <laughs> There's a hawk. <laughs> it's hawk tour. <laughs> but since you've gotten here, you keep going hawk, <laughs> which is funnier actually because of the, the what it means is like you're like spitting a loogie and you do kind of hawk. Yeah, of, yeah, totally. It's better than hawk tour. It makes it more Jersey. <laughs> yeah. It's hawk tour. <laughs> Did you see that walk to a video? Um, okay, so um, uh, debate happens. Biden does poorly. He says, I'm not dropping out. Assassination happens. Biden goes, I'm dropping out. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, there's dropping no coming out. back from this. Here's another funny one. Uh, Trump assassination happens. Secret Service director goes, I'm not dropping. I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting. <laughs> <laughs> then, they, then they hold a hearing. They say, no, I'm quitting. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm done. I'll, I'll step down. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> a lot in just the last couple weeks, people saying, I'll never quit. And then quitting by the mm -hmm. end of the fucking week yep. yeah yeah <laughs> it's crazy how quickly things move too i remember like back um when i was well, we're not even talking about the assassination anymore no i know but we, yeah. they've moved on yeah totally That's what's all about harris now yeah i thought you meant us on this podcast i was like yeah we kind of are still talking no, we're still talking about it <laughs> i'm not gonna stop talking about it <laughs> um uh, but it is crazy like i remember um, when I maybe when I was in high school, maybe when I was in college, I hearing an interview with uh, Obama where he's like, in politics, um, it's really hard to move things. Like people expect things to move really quickly, and they just don't. When you have to steer the ship, you can only steer it like five degrees this way, and you can't move it either either direction really, really quickly, or the thing's gonna crash. Everything moves really slowly. And cut to today, where it's like at the beginning of the week, you can have someone saying, "I am never dropping out," and by the end of the week, they've dropped out, and another president, uh, presidential candidate, has been shot at. Like yeah. everything changes on a dime nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's chaos. I think it's all like purposefully supposed to just confuse and get people. I don't know. I, agree. I, I, I mean, I do think I think the end goal is just like, oh, see, like you guys, you commoners, you yeah. just can't. You just can't deal with the world, so you got to yeah. give us all the power. You got to give the elites because we're the only yeah. ones that know how to handle this. We're stuff. rational. Trust the experts. Yeah. Um. Okay. So then. In the midst of all this, the RNC happens. The RNC, wait, crazy that he got shot the week that and the RNC is What a is fucking happen. statement, too. You got Biden gets COVID. Yeah. Oh, that's and right. And it's like cancels all events. And then fucking Trump gets shot in the ear. Yeah. Which, I mean, to be fair, like, that's not that big of an injury. Like, just put a oh. fucking gauge in there, brother. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, that's yeah, just yeah. a fucking earring. Yeah. It, it only grates. It's I mean, just like you went to K's. Jewelry. <laughs> Got an ear. They don't they don't do ear piercings at case jewelry. Claire's Claire's <laughs> He just went to Claire's. 
somebody should put the picture of 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 Trump <laughs> with his blood on his face and he's sitting in a chair at Claire's. <laughs> that is a good idea. Yeah, you should clip that and then fucking make it, dude. Or tell AI to make it. They'll do it for you. Um, okay, so the RNC happened, sponsored by the WWE. It was on yeah. Sunday, 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 baby. Dude, yeah. <laughs> At the Pontiac Silverdome. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. The Did you watch the Hulk Hogan ripping his fucking shirt off? I saw going? the clip. <laughs> I mean, I didn't watch the whole RNC. I was like, okay, I, I do like politics. Yeah, no. We, I am more of a right winger. And like you are a Hulkamaniac, and I am a Hulkamaniac. I love Trumpamania, brother. I do. I mean, I think his daughters are pretty cute. I will say. Yeah, I think he has daughters. So. Who, Hulk Hogan or yeah. Trump? Hulk Hogan. Oh, okay. Well, both. Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. mean, I mean, I'd love to see Hulk Hogan's daughters with Trump's daughters. If you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Can't watch that in Texas. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh. No, so we we didn't watch every night or anything. We just watched the night that Trump was. Um, I didn't uh, watch speaking. his speech. I didn't his to speech it. was fucking an hour. I, we went to bed before the speech was over. It was two hours. It was crazy. <laughs> we said this ain't no Kid Rock. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They had. They had uh, Hulk Hogan come out, rip his fucking shirt open, and go, that's Trump mania, brother. And people say all the time, "Oh, politics is just wrestling." Now they they literally made politics <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> Republican Party leaned into that for they sure. <laughs> definitely did. They had uh, what's the other guy's name that they had on? I always forget his fucking name. Dana White. Dana White yeah. was on. He was the one that brought him up. Mm-hmm. Brought Trump up. Mm-hmm. They he had goes, no, they but had before no- Trump, here's Kid Rock. And Kid Rock comes out and does a fucking... Stick it up the... Yeah! Stick <laughs> it up the... Yeah! <laughs> they had an official... I did it off for the nookie. <laughs> <laughs> they had an official weigh-in. <laughs> Oh man! And Trump's then Trump's like four hundred pounds. He is pretty big. Trump comes out with his name and fucking lights, and they go fucking crazy. It was like the WWE. Yeah. There was no difference when he when he like I've seen a picture, and maybe this is Photoshop, but I don't think it is. But a picture of like this chart saved my life, and there's yeah. like forty screens <laughs> with the same fucking <laughs> chart yes. on it. Yep. It's just like oh my god. Dude. Yep. My favorite moment from the RNC, and it was just such a Trump moment. Uh, like, <laughs> like this is everything that he he always does. This kind of thing. He goes, he goes. I'm not supposed to be here. Like he's mm-hmm. supposed to be dead, mm-hmm. and the crowd just starts. You know, they love him, so they just go, "Yes, you are. Yes, you are." And they do it for a long time. Yes, you are. And he finally they start to die down. He goes, "Thank you, thank you." But I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're giving him so much love, and he's like, "But I'm right, and you're wrong." <laughs> yeah, that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <That is laughs> thank funny. you, thank you. But I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was and okay. So th- he starts the his like first half of his speech was all you know about the you know the actual the assassination attempt which i found interesting second half was all of his like policy i go boring <laughs> <laughs> um now have you heard and this is something that's kind of been happening before all of that but it's still going on it's Project driving 2025 me, it's driving me fucking yeah. up a goddamn yeah. wall this fucking stupid project 2025 shit that every single liberal news media and every single person commenting on the internet is going oh you know if trump gets in we're gonna have to deal with project 2025 and trump goes i don't know what that is like he literally yeah. goes, yeah. I don't agree with he. He's called it far right extremist garbage. Like he's like, I'm not really interested in that. I'm not going to run on that. And you tell that to any of them, they go, Will you believe him? Yeah. <laughs> he lies about everything all the time. So then that means that you could just lie about whatever his policy is all the time. Yeah. And then when you say he's not going to do that, you go, Well, you believe him? Yeah. And they're literally saying things like, well, when Project 2025 comes into play, they're just going to go to every black person's house in America and lock them up in prison. Mm -hmm. And they're just going to kill all the trans people. And you go, I don't think that it even says that. And you go, oh, well, you believe them? Yeah. (laughs) It's unbelievable. And let me ask this, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but 
I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be the person to say that Trump doesn't lie. Politicians lie. Like for sure. Politicians for sure. lie all the time. Usually what Trump is lying about is he says, I'm going to do this, and then he doesn't end up doing it. And maybe it's because he couldn't get it to happen, couldn't make it happen, or it's just because he was promising more than he could actually offer, right? Well, let's not Usually, forget his 2016 campaign slogan. Well, I know it was "Make America Great Again." Yeah, but his secondary slogan was "Lock her up." Right, right. Did right. he lock Clinton? No, up? he never locked. No, her he up. did not. Okay, these are all things he says he's going to do, and then ends up not doing. How often does he say, "I'm not going to do something," and then ends up doing it? I I'm, can't think of one example. I'm going to hmm. come. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't come. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, um uh this whole <laughs> argument of like okay, he's specifically said I'm not running on this project 2025 thing. I'm I don't know. I just feel like I kind of believe that if you if you come out and say I don't support this thing, you're probably not going to then try to implement it when you become president. I understand lying about, hey, I am going to do this. I'm running on this thing. But coming out and saying I'm against this and I'm not doing this, why would you lie about that? Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Am totally. I making sense no, here? No, that makes sense. It makes sense. It's also like it, it kind of goes back to like, hey, do you remember like 2016 through 2020? No. Were people <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. a lot of people don't yeah. apparently because it's like was anyone thrown in jail for being gay? No. Was no. any was were women prosecuted for having abortions in the past? No. No. Like was Hillary Clinton locked up? No. No. Did we even did we deport anyone? I mean, I'm sure we did deport some people, but it wasn't like a cr- it it wasn't actually I think it was even less than Obama. Yeah. That we deported. In Trump's time. So I've seen that chart of like the I think it's the chart he was looking at when he got shot too. Yeah. Of the of the like the people coming through the border like mm-hmm. during his presidency and then uh uh Biden's presidency and just yeah. like how fucking I mean it's crazy. It's yeah. like exponentially way more people than even pre Trump times like that were coming through the border. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. And not even not to jump ahead any, but it is so annoying that like Kamala Harris literally she was in charge of the borders. Yeah. Called the borders are. And then recently, now all these liberal media outlets are like, she's not the borders are. That's a yeah. that's a fucking right wing conspiracy theory. And it's like That's a dog whistle. What the fuck? <laughs> dirty, like, dirty dog whistle. It, it's uh, it's crazy. It's crazy that yeah. people don't see through this. Like there's there's documents that say that. That literally yeah. say borders are yeah literally those words yep that's correct you know and that is correct and there's liberal media outlets that are that praise her for her job as a borders are right right what would your me mama have to say about all this byron oh she'd be fucking she goes send them to the moon (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah lock them up there (laughs) we don't live there i don't want them there (laughs) no one's been there yeah. Until now, <laughs> we're sending them. Um, man. Okay. So but I jumped ahead a little bit. No, no, that's fine. That's where we're going next anyway. Because um, so then, okay. After the RNC, we the most recent news is Biden has officially dropped out. Well, there was he a disappeared few, for like a fucking yeah, week. That's exactly. There's a few days there where people are like, "What? Where is he? Is he gonna tell us?" Like, he's dropping out. Is he ever going to show up and tell us? Did the guy die of COVID? Like, what happened? Um, He was literally missing for several days. It was like a a tweet that he sent out of like a a document. You would think if like the current president is like, hey, I'm not going to run for president anymore. They'd like tell you that. Yeah. (laughs) It wouldn't (laughs) just be like a note. It's like a fucking breakup text. <laughs> exactly. That's what it is. I hate that announcements are made on fucking Twitter now. Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah. Huge announcements. Yeah. Like huge <laughs> announcements about the future of the free world yeah. are made on Twitter. I don't yeah. even have a Twitter account. Yeah. Um, I, th- I I think it's a fate accompli. I think that's what? what it's called. Fate accompli. A, fi- a what? Fate accompli. <laughs> Oh, what does that mean? Why do you keep asking me that? Because I'm not sure I'm saying it right. It's Latin <laughs> or something, and I feel dumb because I why probably pronounced it wrong. <laughs> asking me, why do I keep asking you what you're saying? Because I don't understand. 
Essentially, it's that. Why do you keep saying things that you don't know? <laughs> it's that thing. Why do you keep asking me to make sense? <laughs> it's that thing where, like, they someone kind of sabotaged him again and was yeah. just like, I'm going to post this fucking tweet. What was it called? That fucking intern. By the way, an intern runs his account. Oh, sure. A 20 year old. Have you seen Women, that thing where woman intern runs his fucking Twitter? Have you seen that thing where the press secretary, what's the press secretary's name? Pierre Jean Pierre. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's has, not correct. Has posted, but we're not fact checking. Well, right, that's correct. But I know it's Pierre something. Anyway, Kareen, <laughs> Kareen Jean Pierre. I was Kareen close Jean with Pierre. The Jean. Yeah. Now, and long and, John Silver, <laughs> long John Silver, <laughs> <laughs> and she'll post on her account um, something blah blah blah. I'm I'm happy to be your president. Blah blah blah. And people will be like, yeah, wrong account. You, you posted under the wrong name. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. posted things that were meant to be posted on the Biden account on her account. That's yeah. so strange. Yeah, no, that's that's the sign of a good press secretary. <laughs> Um, and who knows if that's even her? It's just yeah. it's someone else posting for all of them. It, probably, yeah, probably more likely. Probably, it's some intern posting for everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, we watched that show Veep. The, yeah, yeah. All, how do how do how does any like left liberal person watch all of Veep and not like go, oh, that's politics? I now I understand. And then they still have like hope in Joe Biden. Like it's like. I, you don't see that everything that wasn't Veep. The whole thing was about it's all run by these like intern like and and deep state kind of people anyway, and that it's all just a fucking game to them, and they're all just playing a fucking political game, and they're all friends, and they all have dinner with each other anyway, and there's no real no one actually cares about these issues. It's all yeah, fuck you. Like yeah, well, they used to think that, but I I think they can only view it as uh, no that's what the other side does my side doesn't do my that. side doesn't do that yeah veep is actually just about republicans <laughs> even though yeah. i don't think it's really clear if it's not it, it's supposed to be ambiguous so. it, it correct it should but. be ambiguous because it's uh, it's politics across the board anyway so but what was the what was the thing called the latin the latin phrase by fate comply what is it fate comply do you know it's what this is? It's essentially it's just it's the no. okay. It's where they I don't like, believe they, her. I think she yeah, knows you exactly fucking what know, you're you know every say. fucking flag and capital <laughs> in the world. You don't know Latin? <laughs> really? I don't believe it. You probably know Latin, you probably yeah. know Spanish, you probably know Afghanistani. Yeah, you probably know a Pakistani, you probably know a fucking <laughs> you <laughs> Well, th- Pakistan. Don't even start. I'm not, Shut I up. Don't even go there. Yeah, I know you're gonna. <laughs> they say, speak Farsi <laughs> actually. Afghanistan. No, no, they speak Farsi and Iran. Oh shit. See, Fuck. they you... speak Urdu. Urdu. And Bolo- that's the and fucking Bolo- rock in Australia. Bolo- and Balochi. Yeah, I whatever. Think. No, you're just saying you probably the rock speak in Palestinian or whatever. Yeah, you probably speak Israel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. I'm what. How do you say I hate Palestinians in Hebrew? <laughs> Can we say it into the camera? <laughs> yeah, say it into the camera real quick for us, please. <laughs> Guys, today, literally today, I got a comment on one of our old, uh, one of our really old clips with Ahmed. Because, you know, we just randomly got all of these Muslim followers. <laughs> and I literally today, yeah, may Allah guide you, brother. The Haram police you're talking about is something the Sahaba and the Prophet performed. They would expose people of sins, but on the condition they were public sins. If they sinned privately, they wouldn't expose it. There was a time where a brother was berating his brother publicly for something bad he did. I'm like, we're making a comedy podcast. Yeah. What are you trying to... I wanted to comment back fuck your off no i'm sorry i'm sorry be careful okay working crash podcast i said sorry i didn't say anything anyway um i think that was a really good comment and i agree with it um okay so Biden steps down. Mm-hmm. Biden has stepped down. Mm-hmm. Um, he endorses Kamala. Um, not in his original letter, though. In a in a follow up yeah. tweet. Yeah. A follow up tweet. You gotta yeah. find out. You gotta keep posting to the Twitter to find mm-hmm. out who he's gonna mm-hmm. endorse. He endorses Kamala. Am I saying that right? Because I don't want to be called racist. Oh my god! For saying the wrong name. I thought it was Kamala. Am I wrong? 
I don't or even know. Is it Kamala? Know. I think no, it's I, Ka- I think I, it's Kamala. Kamala. I think it's come on. <laughs> it's Carmella. Come on, ya. I say Kamala. <laughs> She's got to feed the country gabagool. <laughs> it's it. I think it is uh, Kamala, not Kamala. Okay. It really this She's, the whole thing is like, oh, yeah. you're mispronouncing it. No, I'm not mis. No one's really mispronouncing it. Yeah. They're yeah. putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Right, correct. And it's like, um, that's not fucking racist, there was dude. Some... People call me Brian all the time. I'm not yeah. like, um, you you think I'm white? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There was also like a journalist or a, or uh, uh, or like a, I don't know, the secretary of something. I don't, I don't fucking know. Someone said that, hey, why do people always call her Kamala? It's so offensive. They need to call her Mrs. Harris or Vice President Harris. And then whoever that was, I, I, I read an article about this, that um, uh, a couple weeks before that, they were on tape calling her Kamala. <laughs> so it's like, fuck you. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Stop telling people what to do. No, her it, like fucking Twitter is something like Kamala for Prez or something. Or like her fucking campaign website i just know it's like dude it's just so fucking crazy drew barrymore was right when she took kamala harris by the hands and said we need you to be mama of this country (laughs) did that happen yeah on the drew barrymore show she has a she has like a morning talk show like ellen and this was like uh months ago before by the way before a lot of people were willing to admit that biden was like losing it and she like goes you know biden is getting very old and we just and she takes kamala harris by the hands we just might we want you to know that we might need you to be mamala of the country do you know what could fix the border a big hug (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah cringiest thing i've ever seen mommy milk now, okay, so then after that, uh, Bill and Hillary Clinton endorse uh, Kamala uh, for president. Oh, Obama has not. No, he hasn't. Now, some people say it's because he knows that um, uh, Big Mike is going to run. <laughs> But as my dad said, we've already had one black male president. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> perhaps perhaps he knows that his wife Michelle Obama is going to run, and that's why. <laughs> although something I, I read something today that he uh, uh, hasn't endorsed her just because he thinks she won't beat Trump. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is like realistically, I don't think she can beat Trump. I really don't. Like, I I don't think that people are that dumb. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. in general, I I definitely think a lot of liberals are going to vote for her. A lot of people on the left are going to vote for her, and she'll get some moderates too. But I th- yeah. I just don't think she does not have any excitement really about oh, her. Yeah. And especially when you compare uh, that no, to no, like no, no. get her talking about school buses. She has a <laughs> lot of excitement. Yeah. Yeah. Did someone say ice cream trucks? <laughs> <laughs> um. So as far as I remember, most of the like liberal leaning people I knew uh, despised Kamala this whole time up until now. Yeah. When they're like, oh, she could be our first female president. That's great. Yeah. And then uh, first female black president. Of course. Which I'm like. She's not. I'm sorry. You ain't. She's not. It seems like you didn't vote for <laughs> you voted for Trump because you ain't black. First female black president who locked, <laughs> who locked up a bunch. That of... That was another deep cut, right? <laughs> First female black president who locked up a bunch of low level offenders for far longer than they should have been locked up and withheld yeah. evidence for uh, people who were on death row. Yeah. yeah, that's the kind of person you want. Yeah. And then really, we're called combine, racist. We're combine, called fucking racist because who called like, us racist. <laughs> Unbelievable! Who called us racist? I need to know. Oh, fucking go behead them! (laughs) Oh my! Well, don't call me names. I didn't do anything. No, I'm not calling. I'm not calling you racist. I'm saying no. We get called racist. Who? Who called us racist? I want to know. I'll fuck them up. I don't have names. I didn't do anything. You know how many? You know how many black men I've sucked off. Call me fucking racist. To completion. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. the important part. You know how much black ass I've eaten? <laughs> Call me racist. That's why I have thrush. That's, <laughs> why, <laughs> That's why I'm literally <laughs> taking medication for thrush for eating black ass. <laughs> <laughs> um uh 
I mean, really, if you combine like uh, the political history of Biden and Kamala Harris, like Trump is better on black people than <laughs> than their campaign is. If you look at the history yes. of, what, of the laws they've enacted, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I I do not that I'm saying like I'm not like super pro Trump or anything. I'm just like if you just look at historical data, like the the laws that they've enacted are far worse on black folks than uh, anything Trump has done. But Trump gets called racist all the time, which I've never I I've, I've never seen a hint of evidence of. But I yeah, no, he just gets called it. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's it's crazy. I mean that's just their tactic. It's yeah. just their tactic. I mean, and yeah. and it, the the sad thing is it's worked. Yeah. Um. But I I do think that it's it's becoming less and less effective. Yeah. Um, there's diminishing returns on that kind of, uh, it's the boy who attack. cried wolf. Yeah. You yeah. can't, you can't call everything racist because then the word loses its meaning. And then when you use that word to describe somebody, then everyone goes, well, I mean, what does that really mean? Cause yeah. Yeah. you know, the you pendulum is swinging when that, you know, that channel that does those like fake, um, they're like a bunch of actors and they act out a story and it'll be like, uh, a racist cop tries to arrest boy outside of mom's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they like reenact these. Oh, Darman scenarios. It might be that guy. But recently yeah. there was one where it was like f- swapped. Yeah. Oh, really? Where you wouldn't expect the white person to be the victim. Oh, but they interesting. Were. Oh yeah. Now he's so trying to cash in. That's why I think that the pendulum is swinging. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because of those <laughs> awful YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I figure out what's going on in the world. <laughs> yeah, swinging pens, man. What's it called? Dharma? Darman. Darman. But there's also, um, you're thinking of Generation Hope. Yeah. 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 Is that yeah. one? Yeah. Those are that similar, one. too. Yeah. I also, I often get recommended on YouTube. There's a Russian channel yeah. that does them, <laughs> but they're all like romance-related uh, themes. Oh, interesting. But so they're you, also equally terrible. That's, you just watch Russian porn? <laughs> uh, no, 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 <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Yet. Yet, yet, yet. yet. <laughs> um, so what's next? So what's well, next? What I, do you guys think is going to happen next? Well, can I say, I, I, no. I need to pee, dude. <laughs> I have to pee really bad. That's okay. Go pee and then come back. All right, all right. All right. Cool, 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 cool. We'll, we'll keep talking. But Lauren, what do you think is next? What do you think well, is going to happen? What she has to say. Why don't you guys talk about like? Don't office? talk if you're not holding a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> you're really. You're, I want you to talk. So about you can't. Office. No one can hear you talk right now. You can hear don't me. talk to us while well, we're supposed to be talking me. and doing the you podcast. Can hear me right now. Yes, we Go can hear you, and they pee. can hear you in the so background. I'm Go pee. No, I'm not going to repeat everything. Go pee. Go pee. <laughs> Go pee. <laughs> 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 But we're never gonna have him back on this podcast. What are we doing? I know. What the fuck? I know. I was like, maybe we'll do this one as a main episode, or we'll put it out on Patreon. We have to put it on Patreon now because of the shit he said in this yeah, episode. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely. fucking. What the hell is he talking about? Yeah. This guy's a clear. If you want to talk about racist, if you want to throw that word around, <laughs> you hear the fucking shit he's been saying on this episode. <laughs> you hear the fucking shit that he's just and and the jokes tonight i mean what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah a real stinker over real there stinker i mean uh what somebody get some febreze because it stinks <laughs> he goes working crass podcast what about working my ass it's like we've made that joke a hundred times Dude, you get out of here. What do you do? We're going to have to fucking toss this episode in the trash because of him. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah. We apologize to our listeners for that to sit through this yeah. ding dong this whole episode. Just, yeah. I mean, we thought it would be, we haven't caught up with him about politics, you know, and now I, re- now I realize why. Yeah. <laughs> I know why we haven't brought it up with him. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, 
What do you think, Lauren? I think he's not very bright. That's I mean, he comes from. He just told us his grandma was retarded his too. So his <laughs> me mama was fucking retarded too. He goes, "Hey, he I come from he... a long line of family members with brain damage." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, dude. I heard brain damage. <laughs> Taking his sweet time coming back to the podcast so he can grab a Zen. zen. <laughs> I ain't gonna double because last time I did too. I uh, stop. Hold yeah. on, we can't hear you have to hold a microphone if you're gonna talk on the podcast. <laughs> you just start. <laughs> Although I do uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> grab the microphone. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just joking. His grandmother's a great person. So um, we what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we didn't get. You guys have the nicest soap dispenser this side of the UK. I love that soap dispenser. I'll be honest, it's I really like that soap fan. I feel like I'm in a fucking. That was a good purchase. Gordon Ramsay soap <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> See shit like that the whole episode. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Gordon Ramsay soap kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a thinker, but now that, <laughs> now that I've let it land, that is, that's a good one. <laughs> it's like a Gordon Ramsay soap kitchen. It makes sense. Okay. It really does make sense. We've talked through everything that's happened in the last couple of weeks, which is a lot. I mean, that's yeah. crazy that all of these things have happened. Um, and we said at the beginning of this year, um, indiv- all of us have said at some point, like, I think, they're going to try to pull some shit for the election this year. Like, Oh, yeah. yeah. Something. And and maybe we haven't even seen the worst of it. Maybe we have seen the worst of it. Maybe all of that was the crazy shit. And then the rest of it will be fine. Maybe we've barely even seen the worst of it. And we're where. What is it next? No, not next week. A couple weeks, like two or three weeks from now in this city is where the DNC will be happening. Yeah. So who fucking knows what's going to happen with all that shit? Well, I think like the the. Palestine stuff is going to get mm-hmm. wild here yeah. during the DNC, for sure. I'm sure. Did yeah. you turn me down? No, I did not turn you down. No. I'll check the video. <laughs> you can check the video. Sure sounds like I'm turned down. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Speaking of the Palestine stuff, they had uh, what Netanyahu was at the White House today talking about. Do you know about this? Do you uh, see this? Yeah, I think he went to Congress, right? Congress, yeah. yeah. And there was protesters wrong. all outside. I yeah, I, I heard about the protesters. Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, part of me crazy. thinks that, like, I mean, if here's the thing, here's here's like my crazy. Uh, I probably shouldn't even say this. CIA is already looking at me. I'm sure. I'm not gonna fucking do anything. That's not me. I like to make jokes. All right. I know you couldn't tell by watching this episode <laughs> of the podcast that that's what he likes to do, but it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like fucking dinosaurs in World of Warcraft, all right? I ain't a fucking... I don't even have a gun, all right? I don't. I want one. I will say I want one, but I don't have one. Yeah. I think... Hey, if you're the CIA listening to this, we do have them, and we have a lot of them. (laughs) (laughs) I... Here's my prediction, and this is a dark prediction, but it's what... It's kind of what I think is going to happen. I predict... Mm-hmm. The um, the deep state mm-hmm. is going to realize that they can't even fudge this election with Kamala. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they're going to take her out. Uh, and then it's going to be like, imagine like the martyrdom of Trump this past few weeks where he was mm-hmm. shot at and hit in the ear. Mm-hmm. And then it was dropped. You know, it was like memory hold pretty much right away, like really quick. We mm-hmm. heard about January 6th mm-hmm. for like years and then, and then uh, the whole time that, that yeah. all those years, like Trump supporters, Trump is called a f- fucking Hitler and all this. And honestly, like, if you're going to sit there and say that Trump is Hitler, then you better also, like, frankly, like, it's moral then to, like, assassinate him. 
Right, right, right. You know, all these people going like, oh, you know, why would, uh, uh, or oh, especially the people who are like the liberals leaning people are like, uh, stop making jokes like about, oh, I wish the, you know, uh, shooter didn't miss and blah, blah, blah. I, we talked about this a little bit on the last podcast too, but, um, uh, the fact that like there's a lot of people getting fired from their jobs and stuff right. or going on social media and going, wow, the shooter shouldn't have missed. He really should have hit, you know, and then, and part of me is like, I, I don't know. I don't know if that person should lose their job. I'm all for freedom of speech. I don't think it's right to say that. Yeah. I don't think it's right to hope or wish that one of the presidential candidates had been shot. But also, if you put yourself in their shoes and you look at the media that they've been consuming, they've been told that this guy is quite literally Hitler yeah. the, uh, forever. So why would you blame them for them saying, I hope he gets shot? Don't you not want Hitler? Like, is both things can't exist at the same time. Yeah. He can't be Hitler and also you wish him a speedy recovery. That's the Dave totally. Smith thing. He's like, you wouldn't you wouldn't uh wish Hitler a speedy recovery. But That's totally he, but he's like a nice Hitler. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like he's it like, makes no sense. You know, he's like a springtime <laughs> Hitler. So in their in their wishing him a speedy recovery is an admission of we've been lying about exactly how bad he is. Right, totally. Because you wouldn't wish him a speedy recovery totally. if he was as bad as you described him as. And I completely agree with you, and I think this is like part of the reason why like I'm really hesitant to identify with the right wing because it's mm -hmm. like as soon as they get some sort of power, mm -hmm. it's like liberals of TikTok is like, fire this Home Depot employee! Right, right. You know, and I'm like, fuck, like, yeah. s just stop. Yeah. Like, god damn it. It's like, it, yeah. it's you're doing the same shit. And I get it, like I get it, like like people like the right is definitely it's way easier to pick on them, right? Mm -hmm. Because frankly, I think they're typically a little more principled in their values. But it's just like when you do stuff like that, mm -hmm. you're like just you're doing the same sort of shit that the left has been doing the past few years. And it it's very annoying. I don't like that. I don't think anyone should lose their job. It's like you said. It, they've been told this guy's Hitler. Mm -hmm. Like, if you put yourself in that mind frame, it, it might be completely wrong, and I, I think it is, and I think it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. And if, if, if anything, like, who is culpable here? It's the media. It's the fucking media. Right, and it's the media who's going to report, like, oh, this person uh, lost their job because, and, and uh, you know, we really shouldn't be calling for political violence. We really need to... Tone you know, it we, down. We really need to tone it down. It's like... You need to tone it down. Yeah. Like, you're the media. You're the reason why everything is so fired up to begin with. It, 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 no, this... fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It kind of it, it like reminds me of um, we're obviously all all three of us are big like Dave Smith fans, yeah. but it reminds me of like the Cuomo debate that he did. Oh yeah, because it's like whenever Chris was like, uh, I don't know what he, he said something about like, I never, I never shamed Joe Rogan for taking ivermectin. Yeah. Or yeah. like, I didn't agree. That, no, he said, yeah. I didn't agree that they attacked Joe Rogan for taking ivermectin. Yeah. Or whatever. I don't think they should have done that. And he's like, you did it. Yeah, exactly. Like you did the that. same people telling us we need yeah. to tone it down. Yep. Like, I'm sorry, but like the right hasn't tried to assassinate Biden. Right. Yeah. Like, like even uh, like I don't I actually don't believe that it, the lone wolf thing I think the I think the CIA was involved right. like I've been to the fifth the sixth floor depository book, or, de fi book depository fifth floor suppository it's the <laughs> I didn't say that you're putting that in my mouth <laughs> I've been up an ass <laughs> I've been in a suppository before it's pretty fun the Warm. the the, the fifth, smelly fifth floor museum at the book depository in Dallas Texas. they practically admit that yeah. like there's two shooters. Yep. And I mean, it, like, I, I just don't think you can, I just, there's just not, they haven't been transparent at all. And that's like just all the signs that like the CIA is involved in this, of course. Mm -hmm. And then, then they hate them. I mean, Chuck Schumer's on air saying like the CIA the deep state has seven ways from Sunday to kill you to like ruin your life. Right. right. And like, they're proving it right now. Right. And it's like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know where I was going with this, actually. But okay, but my Me prediction, neither. my prediction <laughs> is that I think that like they the they've seen how everyone re responded to like how Trump's ratings boosted after this attempt. And imagine if they like they orchestrate and pull it off mm. on Kamala, mm. 
And because they realize like, oh, she's a pretty shitty candidate and she may not even win. Hmm. Um, and people may not believe that she won if we like fake it. Then like, let's take her out. And then like, then whoever we put up will win. And they're probably right. Like people will buy into the sympathy of like, that's fucked up. Are you fucking kidding? And then we won't hear the end of it. Even hmm. though like the same thing kind of happened to Trump, like literally an inch away from civil war. Hmm. And like, it's sad. I do. I do not want that to happen. By the way, like as much as I think Kamala is like pretty evil and everything, like I'm. I'm not about wishing anything ill to happen to anyone. I think judgment is up to the Lord, and it's not up to us to do. Good prevails over time, and we suffer through evil. That's just the nature of human existence, and uh, I do not wish any ill on her at all. But. Um, yeah, I I could see that happening, and like, it, it's a terrifying thought. I I really hope it doesn't, but we'll see. Or she'll like, or or she fucking runs with like Clinton as her vice president, and then gets assassinated. What a fucking story there. Hmm. I zoned out about halfway through, <laughs> but I'm sure that was all. I'm sure that was all great. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you're, you're I'm sure that was all very intelligent, Byron. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm sure your me, ma- your me mama would have loved it all. <laughs> <laughs> she would have loved that. She w- She's fucking clapping in heaven right now, for sure. I'm proud of you, she's boy. Like, That's my grandson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She's like, I met... Uh... <laughs> I met, oh, God damn it, I forgot the name of the astronaut that went to the moon. Neil. I met Neil Armstrong up here, and I kicked his ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Called him a liar. You fucking liar. <laughs> and, it, and then he's like, ma'am, I am a liar, but my name's Lance. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting these deep cuts right now, aren't I? <laughs> Clippy? That was a good one. Yeah. Did you get Clippy? Well, you said, no, I got Clippy. I know what you're talking about. It's just, is the joke good or not? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really matter to me as much as like <laughs> See, if you get the reference, if you know who yeah. Clippy is. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. joke isn't really about the humor. Part. <laughs> well, I know you, you heard of Operation Paperclip, <laughs> and I ain't talking about Clippy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but okay, like, wait, let's be real though, All because right. there is hey, something every, about <laughs> everyone gets a turn on this podcast. Okay, <laughs> Lauren, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think the future holds for us here? Well, I think I'm on the the Whitney Webb train. I okay. think that um, the elite cabal is trying to uh, force us into using these digital IDs and um, central bank digital currencies, mm-hmm. so that we can all be, you know, ruled by our our, our elite overlords. Um, and I think to do it, they need to basically have some sort of disaster that preempts the mm. need for moving everything into this centralized digital system. Mm-hmm. So I think if we had, uh, you know, if things had played out a little differently at that rally, that might have been just the type of disaster that might have uh, prompted that. So I I, I think maybe there's going to be some sort of other disaster on the horizon. Yeah. I could see that. I don't know what it'll be, whether if we got another pandemic coming, we got you know, sewer, sewer mutants rising up. Yeah. It's well, crazy. did you see, like, earlier this week, there was, like, Russian and China planes flying near Alaska? Yeah. Oh, really? But I think there's going to be Like something, bomber planes. There's going to be something, Great. like, crazy that some sort of, na- uh, you know, disaster on a national or global scale that causes them to go we we need to for your safety and security we Mm. need to move you all into this centralized digital system and you'll have no liberty whatsoever and you'll never get it back we are very weak right now i mean we got a president that literally has like without explicitly saying it has dementia because like he's not running for re-election so there's something wrong you know and every and we've said this all along but like a ton of people are just now finding this out and it's uh, that is one thing that's interesting about like Trump recently is that like he's been very like don't fuck with it. like I think he said to China is like don't fuck with us right now yeah I yeah. get that we're fucking weak but don't fuck with us I'll make you pay for it which 
I'm not big on like the Warhawk shit, but that is pretty fucking badass still. Mm. Very American, I think. That's the that's the American I want. I want a fucking mm. badass fucking I'm a rebel. Yeah. Kind of American. Yeah. All right. Here's what I think will happen. And uh I'm not trying to like be controversial or whatever, but I think that uh Kill Tony will have Shane Gillis back on and <laughs> I think that um to do Trump. I don't I just don't know who they'll have as Kamala or if they will have Kamala at that point. Um but I think they'll have him back on and I think it'll be a good episode. <laughs> no. Um what I okay, but and here's here's what I honestly think though, is that I unlike these two, I don't think that there is a deep state. I think that the people in charge do have our best interests in mind. <laughs> I this is like your application to the CIA. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to throw these kinds of conspiracy theories out there <laughs> because I like my life. I'd like to continue to live. And so therefore I'm willing to do the bidding of the people who are in charge of this country. Whoever it is, they're doing a competent job and they should continue to do a competent job. That's just my opinion. My opinion, Joshua. Not the opinion of these two. <laughs> these two loonies. <laughs> and you so also- hey, I'm just saying, if you decide to listen to this episode, you need to go after anyone. Just remember who said the bad things about you <laughs> yeah. and who said the nice things about you. Yeah, and you also agree that if the roof is if the roof is too slow. If the roof is <laughs> The if the roof, <laughs> it, the roof, the roof is the roof on fire. Is too slow, man. If, if the roof is too sloped, the Secret Service must say nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's her phrase. Yeah. Yeah. I've been coming up with slogans lately. I, I feel like this is my new thing: <laughs> is to, to be a, yeah. sl- a slogan Look, maker. You're, we're very proud of you for that. Yes, I'm. I'm very proud. Okay, here's. All I know is that nobody should have hope for the future. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's my only prediction. No one should have hope that things are going to get better or that anyone's going to get smarter. No one should have hope and the roof is too sloped. <laughs> the roof is too sloped. I have hope, but I do think things are going to get worse before they get better. Yeah. Still. Uh, and like people are like, how can it get worse? Well, you just fucking wait. <laughs> Jesus, it sounds like you're threatening them. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to. Do. <laughs> There's a lot that can I, happen. Yes, they no, you're right. Felt it's, the fury. It's, it's, People like, say things can't get worse, but wait till I come around. <laughs> I'll show them. <laughs> oh my God! All right. Well, uh, folks, I was going to plug some shows, but I'd rather not give the CIA. <laughs> Yeah, yeah exact, any opportunities. exact locations yeah. where we'll be and when we'll be there. But you can give the the the, the buildings directly across <laughs> from where you're performing. You can give those locations out. <laughs> you know what? I mean, you know, if the CIA bombed the second city in IO Chicago, I really I'd, I'd probably celebrate. <laughs> but oh my well, god. Well, no, that's their headquarters. They would never do that. that you're right. Probably that is, is their headquarters. Well, well, I mean, second city Kamala Harris has gone there like four times in the last couple years to just give political speeches uh, yeah. at a comedy club. Are yeah, you for, serious? For, for, yeah. It was oh part of the God. neuro-linguistic programming. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Probably. I think that's what it's called. But, I th- yeah, th- I've seen that pop up multiple times. Come see Kamala Harris at Second City. She's giving a speech. I'm like, She's it. opening for She the People. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, a fine walk tour to you folks. Thanks for sitting through this episode. We do appreciate it. Uh, oh, wait. I have one more thing. What? Oh, my God. Haven't what? you had enough? What? what does that say? It says, make America emo again. He has a hat. For those who are listening to the audio <laughs> podcast, um, Byron has was wearing a hat the whole time that he is now flipped around, and it says, make America emo again. Yeah, I just really like emo music, and I want to see more of it. Well, and this is my announcement. I do like this hat, though, and I had someone tell me, they were like, dude, I like your fucking hat. Yeah. And they thought it was like a Make America Great Again hat. And I was oh, like, yeah. It's actually Make America Emo Again. And, they and, went, then I, oh. and then I was like, but I'm with you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You said, I'll see you at Trumpomania 2024, yeah, yeah. brother. Yeah, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I'm glad we stopped the momentum for that. Yeah. But let's. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> All joking. right. I'm just joking. Uh, thank it you. is a cool hat. It is Don't a cool get hat. Wrong. I like that. It's hat. awesome. Did you get it at the music festival? Yeah, I you did. Went to? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I did indeed. I'm not going to go so far as to say it's cool, but. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks for listening. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Don't cry, Byron. Don't sulk. <laughs> Thank First you. off, no one says anything nice about me in the comments. <laughs> and no one just comes at me and makes fun of my hat, my apparel. <laughs> I'm just treated like dirt. Oh, man. Um, thank you for listening to this episode. We really appreciate it. I know that we, we missed some of these political things in the last couple of weeks, so we wanted to do an episode where we talked about all of it. So uh, I hope you they enjoyed They had to have their political all-star on the table. <laughs> yeah, we really needed to get Byron in here. <laughs> we really needed... Uh... Uh, what was the what was Clippy? The, <laughs> Clippy. We really needed his Clippy reference. Clippy and Gordon Ramsay uh, soap kitchen. What was the what was the uh? <laughs> <laughs> that is baby by baby. What was uh what was the thing that he was saying earlier too that we didn't know what he was saying and what it meant? I don't know. The, <laughs> oh, fate complex. <laughs> yeah, we really needed fate complex. Uh, yeah, fort complex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. We love you very much. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.